Hey everybody, this is Kathy Cordell and I am joining you from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I am a diamond in doTERRA. I've been using essential oils now for about eight years and I don't know what I would do without them. So I am going to share with you today um, uh, how to make your own essential oil emergency kits. We're going to talk about um, disaster preparedness a little bit and then just also how you can prepare your own kit whether it's small, a tiny kit that you carry with you all the time, or whether it is a large essential oil kit and you have two or three of a lot of the essential oils so that you can be prepared for long periods. So these little cases are really nice. I got this on Oil Life and it has, of course, the little sample vials that you can put in it, but 16 different sample vials that have all just the small samples, about 30 drops of, of all of the essential oils that you may need in an emergency. Now, keep in mind that the oils that I want in my emergency kit may be different than the oils than you want in your emergency kit. I'm giving you some really good ideas today, but please know that your family's needs may be different than mine. And so what you put in your kit may be different, okay? So let's keep that in mind as I go ahead and start to, uh, I'll start to share my screen here with you and we will get started. Okay, so emergency essentials. We really do want to be ready for anything. So there are big emergencies that happen and there are what we perceive to be the small things that happen in our homes too. And we really do need to know where we can go in a moment's notice to be able to get whatever we need whenever we need it very, very quickly. So that's what I'm going to help you do today is create your own emergency kit so that you know exactly where to go and how you can be prepared. So why do we need to be prepared? I mean, we have things that happen in our homes all the time. You know, people that have uh, little kids, you know that things are going to happen on just on the spur of the moment. But when we have these big things, these big like natural disasters and things that can happen in our lives, like floods and hurricanes, um, bad thunderstorms and lightning, tornadoes, winter storms and extreme cold, which in Wyoming, that's one that I need to be prepared for, for sure. Extreme heat, earthquakes, volcanoes, landslides, tsunamis, fires, maybe a fire in your home, but then wildfires, the, the kind that we hear about all the time now that are destroying entire communities. Chemical and biological threats, um, overload of the medical system, which I think is one that we need to think about more. And I think more people are actually um, uh, taking this to heart right now and taking care of more of their needs in their home right now so that we don't overtax the already uh, you know, busy medical system So, um, and threats against our nation. So these are all things that we really need to be prepared for. And just know what the main threats are going to be in your area. So I'm probably not going to have to worry about a hurricane or a tsunami here in Wyoming, but if you are listening to this and you were in a coastal region, those may be issues for you. So just know that you're going to want to prepare your kit for what the, the what you need in your area. For instance, if I have a winter storm, I need to have plenty of blankets and flashlights and matches on hand and those kind of things. So just know what you're going to need in your kit may be different than what I put in my kit but just know, think through those things and what you want to put in your kit. So these are some examples of, of uh, an essential oil disaster kit. So what I'm talking about here, some people might call this a bug out kit, okay? So like you get information that a wildfire is bearing down in your neighborhood quickly and you need to be evacuated. Having all of these things in a, uh, like a, a big, like a Tupperware tub, a five gallon bucket, something like that. Something where you can go to your storage closet and have this all prepared and just grab that thing, put and grab a couple of other things that you need from your house and get out of there. These are the kind of things that we need. Or um, if you are in a coastal region and you know that that hurricane comes and you have that flooding, what does that look like? Even like inside your home, if you have that flood, what do you have, okay? So we need to make sure that we do have non-perishable foods. So canned goods, pastas, freeze-dried meals, especially those freeze-dried meals. I have a bunch of those now 
in my home for um, emergency preparedness. Make sure that you're not forgetting um, infants, pets, elderly, if there's, if there's special needs for other people. Um, you wanna have at least enough food for seven days per person. So keep that in mind as you're putting your disaster kit together. Water, have at least one gallon of water per person. So you can just buy those big gallon jugs. You can have a case of water, uh, bottled water ready to go but be sure that you do have water and extra available for pets, for cooking and for sanitation. Sanitation items, you may need a five gallon bucket, um, trash bags, toilet paper, washcloths, towels, um, diapers if you've got children in your home, feminine hygiene products. And then the other things that are gonna be essential as well, several flashlights and batteries to go with them, blankets, uh, portable radio so that you can keep in communication. Uh, a phone charger in case you have to leave your house quickly and you bring your phone, don't forget your charger as well. Um, gloves, whether they be like, um, you know, like medical gloves, or if it's cold outside, make sure that you have the proper clothing that you need as well. Matches or a lighter, um, extra cash that you have on hand, a whistle for emergencies, masks, glove, rope, knife, tape. These are all just suggestions for your disaster kit, you can go online and find all kinds of information about other things that you can bring as well. And then of course, you need to have your first aid kit available. So you want band-aids and gauze and medical tape, um, any kind of necessary prescription medications that you or anyone in your family may need, sunscreen, scissors, tweezers, a first aid book so that you know what to do when that disaster arises. And what we're going to be talking about for the rest of our time together is your essential oil emergency kit. This is something that we should have on hand at all times. So when you're creating your essential oil emergency kit, there are three different varieties. And I just showed you on my tiny one that can go with me anywhere. I can put this in the car. I can put this in my trailer for camping. But if we are talking about a long-term emergency for several people, this little kit probably is not going to do it, okay? So we're going to need a, a bigger kit, a, a, a medium-sized kit that's gonna have more gauze and band-aids and tape and things like that in it. But also I would suggest um, buying an essential oil box and keeping those oils that you know are essential to your family on hand, at least one complete bottle of each ones of the ones that you know that you need, especially like On Guard and lavender and tea tree oil. And, and, and you know, if, if, if your family needs adaptive or serenity, whatever those, those oils that you need, make sure that you have at least a full bottle on hand for a medium kit. For a large kit, you can buy larger first aid kits as well. That's gonna have many different things in them. And then I suggest that you also buy a larger box. And for those oils, things like On Guard and Lavender and Frankincense, those oils that we know that we're probably going to go through more because we're in a disaster situation, I suggest that you get two or three full bottles and keep them in a larger case like this. Also have some roller balls and some fractionated coconut oil on hand and don't forget your supplements, okay? Lifelong vitality for a lot of people like digest zen is something that you can't do without. So you make sure that you have the things that you need available in that kit, whether they are your supplements that you're gonna take or two or three in case it's an extended period of time that you either need to be away from your home or that you need to stay in the home. Like for me, some of the blizzards we've been having, heck, I don't know how long we might be in our, our house, but now I live in Arizona, which is really nice. So I might have to start thinking about extreme heat on the other side of that. Okay, so your lifelong vitality pack, do not forget this. Your daily support, especially during times of stress, support at the cellular level is going to help you have optimal physical and emotional health. And that is very, very important, especially during times of stress. So you might have a pill case that you take with you. Of course, this is only gonna be seven days, but make sure that you have something like this available that you can just grab, have your bottles available that you can just grab them as well, but don't go anywhere, especially in a stressful time 
without your lifelong vitality pack. You wanna make sure that you're keeping that immune system boosted and that you are having, again, optimal emotional health so that you can focus on what needs to be done for you and for your family. Of course, On Guard Protective Blend is going to be one of the ones that's gonna be in every single essential oil emergency kit. Your On Guard Protective Blend is so valuable and would be so, so valuable for you and for your family if there were a disaster that were to happen. It is a powerful oxygenator. It stimulates the circulatory system. You wanna put it on the bottom of the feet or right at the thymus in order to stimulate the immune system. Take it internally um, in order for protection against microbial threats. Of course, microbial threats are higher in times of some disasters like flooding and hurricanes and things like that. And you can also use this as a surface cleaner. So you can just add, if, if all you have is water and some On Guard, you can actually make a really good surface cleaner just by adding some drops of On Guard to water and cleaning your surfaces with that. This would also be good for a hand sanitizer, cleaning utensils if you need them. And then I, I cannot say enough good stuff about the On Guard soft gels. So On Guard Plus is an absolute must in times of high stress and high microbial threats. Keep this one on hand at all times. And I, if you're walking out that door, running out that door, whatever you need in a time of emergency, make sure that you have your On Guard Plus soft gels with you. I love the new chewable tablets as well. And of course, I always have the On Guard beadlets, which would easily fit even in a little case, like the one I'm holding up right now. Lavender. Lavender is like the Swiss army kind of um, oil of essential oils. There's so many different things that we can do with lavender. You can imagine how tension and anxiousness is going to creep in in times of disaster. Um, this would promote um, at that environment for restful sleep for you and for your family. Um, any kind of, of skin abrasions or any disruptions to the skin, lavender is going to be, um, at, if not the go-to, at least one of the go-to oils that you need to have for proper skin care, especially if there's any kind of disruptions to the skin. And um, if this also comes um, in reactions to insect bites as well. So let's assume that you are in a, a hurricane, a flood situation, and the, the, the insects, they get so bad after um, a moisture, a, a huge moisture event like that. So you want to have something on hand to be able to deal with those things, calming fussy babies. And of course, it also soothes burns. So have this one on hand, just in your kitchen at all times for any of those little emergencies uh, or big emergencies, again, that may happen. And then peppermint. Peppermint is going to promote um, easy, clear breathing, it freshens breath. Imagine being out without even being able, having your toothbrush or anything with you, which by the way, you might just wanna throw that in your disaster kit as well. Um, peppermint also comforts achy joints, sore muscles. It's invigorating and uplifting. It helps to cool the body when it's overheated. And this could be really, really important in those times when air conditioning is, is down, um, or someone in, in your family uh, and gets overheated due to an illness, um, this peppermint is gonna be fantastic. Put on the back of the neck, down the spine is a great area to help cool the body. It also helps to soothe digestive issues. It eases feelings of nausea. And peppermint, um, one of the things that a lot of people use when, when somebody is unconscious is ammonia. And they'll take those ammonia pellets, which if you buy a good emergency kit, it's going to have those little ammonia pellets in it. But in the absence of that, um, use peppermint as a way to arouse a person to bring mental alertness and clarity because it helps to open that sensory system up. So that's a really, really good tip. Tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca, is anything skin related. So anything that you can think of that's going to be skin related is going to be tea tree oil. Apply this to blisters and rashes, skin abrasions for a cleansing effect. Um, use as a protection against invaders of the hair and scalp, which this can happen in times of uncleanliness or you know, if we do have a natural disaster where we just don't have good sanitation, 
we, we need to be able to, you know, fight against those critters too. Um, apply to the foot and, tone, uh, and toenails for, uh, for health, especially in damp conditions. This uh, oil is used in the wellness bomb, which I have some um, blends that I'm gonna share with you at the end of the presentation that are going to be very, very good to have available in your emergency kit. It's also used in the owie spray, which I'm gonna share with you as well for skin abrasions. You can apply this to the, the throat or the chest for respiratory health. And uh, this is another one that you can mix in a spray bottle um, and, and spray on surfaces to protect damp surfaces against fungal threats. This is one that I use in my bathroom to clean my shower with and all those that, you know, that those kind of areas that get more damp in our homes because it does really, really help with some of those fungal threats. Frankincense, um, again, if we talked about Swiss army knives of essential oils, this is it. So frankincense, when in doubt, get your frank out. If you need to have three or four or five bottles of frankincense in your large emergency kit, I suggest that you do that and have this on hand because frankincense does just about everything. You can use frankincense to help to clean and dress skin abrasions. Um, it supports healthy cellular function. So again, when we're talking about a stressful situation, we really would need that. Apply to the bottom of the feet or use it internally. You can just take a drop underneath your tongue to support immune function. Use it with lavender and peppermint to calm stress and head tension. So again, using it like on the back of the neck, on the temples, and then rub it into the hairline. Lavender, peppermint, and frankincense together is a great, um, a, a, a great way to deal with head tension. And frankincense for me, this is the big reason that I use frankincense. It helps to promote a proper inflammatory response. So any kind of an injured, uh, a, a sore muscle or a joint, frankincense is going to be your go-to oil to use first and then layer other oils over the top of that as well. And one of those oils is gonna be Deep Blue Soothing Blend because this is the one that we're going to apply to achy joints, to relieve stiffness and discomfort. It promotes a proper inflammatory response as well. It is a must for first aid kits, okay? So if this is gonna ease almost any discomfort, um, any, um, any, anywhere that you can think of that you might have discomfort in, in the body, Deep Blue is, is going to be helpful for those areas. And I love the new Deep Blue stick. Think of this in an emergency because it's got that nice twist on lid that's going to be waterproof and it's going to be something that you can use very, very easily and very, very quickly. Um, also, Deep Blue um, Rub is a fan favorite as well. I always carry that one with me. And then the Deep Blue Oil I use in the H Be Gone blend, which is one that I'm going to share with you at the end of the presentation as well. Digest Zen Digestive Blend. Again, don't go anywhere without this. Supports healthy digestion. Um, it helps to soothe stomach upset, especially those uh, you know irritations of the digestive system that we all get occasionally. Um, gas, bloating, indigestion, heartburn, and it calms stomach irritation and helps with those feelings of nausea as well. So you can imagine when you're in a stressful situation, maybe you weren't eating correctly, things like that, digestive um, issues can arise. So make sure that you have Digestin oil with you. And like I said earlier, the Digestin soft gels and Terrazyme, um, the PB Assist, these are all things that people use every day and have come to really rely on them. So if you are that person, make sure that you are putting that in your kit. And then the Breathe Respiratory Blend. This is gonna help maintain those feelings of the clear air, airways and easy breathing, helps to minimize effects of, of seasonal threats. And I'll tell you, this is in our house and is diffused all the time during wildfire season. These Breathe Drops are also very, very valuable. We are seeing a big rise in wildfires. I would keep breathe on hand at all time and keep those breathe respiratory drops as well um, in your emergency kit. Adaptive mental wellness blend. You can just imagine, okay, if stress, 
tension, anxiousness, all of those things. Um, if we are in a, 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 a disaster or a, a, a stressful situation um, with a loved one who, who needs medical attention, adaptive is going to be a great way for us to be able to just calm the mind and to be able to focus and concentrate so that we can go forward. It helps to manage the effects of anxious feelings and helps to bring clarity to those stressful situations. The adaptive capsules are fantastic. If you haven't tried them yet, they are absolutely amazing, life-changing. I can't say much more good about them than that. They are amazing. And of course the oil itself, just applying to the pulse points, the wrists, the neck, um, the back of the neck and also over the heart is a great way to use adaptive to help um, just to calm the situation and be able to really um, clarify what you need to do and move forward. Purify cleansing blend. This is one that you may not have thought about, but it eliminates odors. So think about, you know, if you are in a disaster situation and, you know, not able to wash clothes or, you know, whatever it is, it helps to eliminate those odors. This is also one that is detoxifies bug bites and stings. So again, if you are in a human environment and you have bugs that are going to be around, having Purify on hand is going to be very, very valuable. And um, again, it is sanitizing. So it's gonna be a super effective surface cleaner that we can use. And of course I could have thrown the new Abode oil in here as well, would be another one um, as well as the, uh, but uh, abode is not to be used topically, but purify can be used topically. Um, but abode would be another good one to have on board as a um, sanitizer and a surface cleaner. Now, helichrysum, this is one that you may not have thought of either, <clears throat> but helichrysum is an oil that I use every single day. I love, love, love my helichrysum. <clears throat> so you can apply it to the back of the neck. Um, for shock. You can do this either in a diluted form, so you can make it up in a roller ball and have that available as well. In fact, um, helichrysum is an expensive one, and so I always dilute this one before I use it. Apply, uh, you can apply this near areas of bleeding to ease the flow. Use over the bridge of the nose to help with nosebleeds. Um, you can apply to damaged, discolored skin that um, may be um, due to an injury to ease the discomfort. And then you can apply with lavender behind the ears to ease your discomfort as well. So helichrysum is one that I have on board all the time. <clears throat> it, uh, I have it in my pain blend as well, my, my aches be gone blend. And um, it's just, it, it is a fantastic oil, believe me, to have on hand in times of crisis. And then Correctex Essential Ointments. This is going to be that ointment that you use for those skin abrasion, abrasions and for, bur for burns, again, for, for bug bites, for stings, apply it to dry, chapped lips. This is a non-petroleum-based ointment that is an absolute must for every first aid kit. Um, I use this almost every day in the winter, especially because it's so dry, the air is so dry. And then we have the heater on as well. And my nose gets really, really dry. And I just put a little bit of Correptex on a Q-tip and just rub it on the inside of my nose. And it's amazing how much it helps with that discomfort and that dryness that sometimes we have in our nose. So you can take that as a tip as well. All right, so I'm gonna go through some of these blends that I make up and that I use like on a daily basis, definitely have them available for whenever I need them. If I, I am not using them daily. So the wellness bomb is frankincense and lemon, oregano, on guard and tea tree, 10 drops of each in a roller ball, a 10 mil roller ball with fractionated coconut oil. You can use this daily just as a protective blend on the bottom of your feet. But if for some reason you just are not feeling well, I would suggest using this two to three times a day on the bottom of your feet. Also up the spine is another really, really good area to use the wellness bomb for immune support. And then my Aches Be Gone blend. This one, you guys, I use this 
every night before I go to bed on my neck and my shoulders. My knee sometimes will ache at night. Sometimes my hips ache at night. So I want to make sure that I have a good night's sleep. So this is one that I use before I go to sleep to help me um, get restful uh, sleep. However, if there were an emergency that happened in our home or you know, there were something that were to happen, this would be one of the first things that I would use on an area that, um, that may be damaged. So this one is in a 10 mil rollerball, 15 drops each of frankincense and papaya, 10 drops of deep blue oil and five drops of helichrysum, and then add your frankincense up to the top for that. To get a really, really nice effect, it's like bam kind of effect with this. Let Put this oil on and let it absorb into the skin a little bit and then add deep blue rub or your deep blue stick over the top of this. And it like just it, it augments the wonderful um, effect that this oil has. So I hope that you will take that tip as well. Some of you may need this every single day, but especially in times of emergency, this is really a great one to have on hand. And then a nausea inhaler. So I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but, but our, the, the, the feelings of nausea that we get are actually created in the brain. And then the brain tells the stomach what to or what not to do. So when we are using a nausea inhaler, which this is just five drops each of peppermint, spearmint, and ginger, and one of those little nausea inhalers, and I have one right here that I can show you. So you just unscrew that, and then there's a little cotton pad that goes inside here, and you just put your essential oils on that cotton pad, you, you close it up, and then whenever you just need to smell that in, it helps to reset those places in the brain. Um, again, the essential oil molecules, when inhaled, can cross that blood-brain barrier and really do amazing things in our brain. So this nausea inhaler is a really, really great one to have on hand, keep it in the car, um, bring it to the amusement park if kiddos are gonna get sick on rides, um, any of those kind of things that, uh, that you know, um, oh, oh my gosh, I, I don't know how many of these I've shared with pregnant women. It's like, they, they, they're amazed by how much better they feel by using this nausea inhaler. So don't forget to make this one, it's pennies to make and it lasts forever. And then the Owie Blend. This is an absolute essential to have on hand at all times. We all have those little moments where, you know, the knife slips when we're cutting the tomato or the kiddo falls down in the driveway and skins a knee. So having the Owie Blend on hand at all times is really, really important. So the three oils in the Owie Blend are tea tree, frankincense, and lavender. And as I mentioned before, those are all very, very good for skin health. So when you put them together, they, they um, augment each other and really make a nice blend for any kind of a skin abrasion or uh, damage to the skin. So you can either make a roller ball and um, sometimes there's gonna be more sensitive areas or um, you, know, you might have a, a deeper area that you don't want to apply essential oils to, you can apply it to the sides or even on the other side of the limb. Let's say I cut myself here, I can apply it on the other side and that essential oil is going to be able to find its mark and be able to get in there. Okay, now Owie Spray, this one's super easy. You just add those oils, 15 drops of each in a, a, a two mil um, spray bottle like this, a little two mil spray bottle and um, just spray it on. Okay. So that's a really good way to apply it as well, especially for kiddos. Um, they're much more likely to, you, to be able to spray than to be able to, to rub that right onto the area. And then again, bugs, you know, we have to think about bugs. I, I make an essential oil bug spray as well and have that on hand using your, your Terra Shield, um, peppermint, cedarwood, lemongrass, eucalyptus, um, lemon eucalyptus is another really good one to use as well. And um, citronella is another good oil to put in this. It's already in Terra Shield, but you can add extra if you want to. So mix all of those together in a luminum or a, gl a glass spray bottle, and you can mix that with alcohol or with witch hazel, and then just apply as you would. You can put it over the clothes, directly on the skin, on the hair, 
um, to help when those times when bug threats are really high. And then um, for those of us who might be, have to be out in the sun, and maybe we do this to ourselves, right? We go to the beach or we sit by the pool and we get a little too much sun. Well, there is a natural sun support lotion that you can make. It does have zinc oxide in it. Helichrysum is also an oil in here, but it also has um, oils that are very, very good for the skin, like vitamin E and shea butter, and beeswax. Um, so you can, you can make this um, natural sunscreen up and have that available as well. And then in the case that there is too much sun and there's some issues that happen with the skin, this sun spray is wonderful. 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of peppermint, 20 drops of frankincense. Put that together just with, um, you can either use water or fractionated coconut oil. I suggest you just use water. It flashes off really quickly, but that peppermint is going to be very cooling. Lavender is going to be very, very good um, for, uh, for, that, um, uh, for, for calming the skin. And then frankincense is going to be that, promote that natural inflammatory response that we have to, to make that all feel better. So we do want to be ready for anything. We, we, this has been doTERRA's motto since the beginning, since whenever I was in, this is what we were saying. We want to be ready for anything, anything that comes up in the home. I want to be able to know what to use, when to use it, how to use it. And I want to have it available. I don't want to have to think about, oh my gosh, this thing now happened. I got to go make this blend. Have these things available. So if you have not done this with your family yet, prepare a plan. What are you going to do? What, what does your plan look like? What are the things that you might need to plan for? Then prepare the items that you're going to need to carry out the plan that you are going to have for your family. And then prepare your oil kit, prepare your essential oil kit. Have that available at all times. And maybe you want to keep a small one around on hand that you just keep filling up all the time when you need it. That's great. But also think about those bigger kits to have on hand in case you need to get out of somewhere fast or you need to stay in your home for an extended period of time. And then prepare your family. Tell them where these items are or tell them how to use these items and make sure that your family does have a plan and pray. There's always that. So we've got the five Ps here. We want to be ready for anything and then we pray that it doesn't happen. Okay. So just know that. Um, um, far more people have not had disasters than have had disasters happen to them. But I'll tell you, those people that have been prepared have been very, very happy that they have been prepared in those times. So thank you so much for attending. Um, I really, really appreciate you um, going through this. I'm actually doing a class on uh, this Saturday. So in just a couple of days, with uh, some members of my team, we're creating our own emergency kits. This uh, doing this video actually prompted me to think, well, maybe I should teach other people how to do this as well on my own team. So if you want to have a class and get these little kits and make these, you can certainly do that. They are on Oil Life. You can get these little emergency kits and then you have to get the little sample vials as well. So um, thanks everybody for for joining in. And um, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you make those blends. I hope that you can share this information with other people. And more than anything, I hope that you stay safe out there. All right, you guys, take care and be prepared for everything. Bye-bye.